just a quick video on how you can set up your curator system to detect the presence of this new uh, CVE. This is actually very timely. This article is from just two days ago. And as you see, and you can find plenty of documentation here, but this is all about sending a request, uh, which is, first of all, is very strange. The SIG type of uh, DNS type is not very much used at all. Uh, in fact, that is very strange on itself. And also the fact that the buffer that the DNS server allocates is only 64 kilobytes. When something bigger than that is sent, it produces an overflow and the DNS server crashes. Actually, we reproduce that in here. And we were expecting Sysmon, the good Sysmon, to f you know tell us about it. But the problem is that because it, this makes the DNS server crash, uh, it doesn't send you any information about it because the server is actually down. So here we have uh, an offense that fires on that. Let's actually analyze this so you can learn how you can create your curator system uh, to work with this. If we click here on the flows and uh, of course for this you need to have Q&I because again, there's not going to be any DNS logs or anything that's going to be sent. This is in the actual content of the payload. And to get an appreciation of how we can detect that, well, inside the payload of a DNS uh, uh, request and response, you find this thing. For example, in here, is detected that the DNS request type is ZIG. You don't get this in any logs. You don't get this in even NetFlow, so QFlow. This is deep inside the payload, and that's the beauty of QNI that extracted all these fields that we see in here and sent them as IP fix to QReader. And we can see that it detected that somehow there is a DNS request that has ZIG. That is suspicious on itself, and you will see that the rule uh, that that uh, were created to to detect these uh, can catch that and all these are pretty much the same these are all detection of the sick let's actually take a look at this one notice the the length of the traffic is greater than 64 kilobytes and that's what uh, generates the crash right so if we go we can actually close this here and display the actual rules that made this trigger, we see, let's actually take a look at the, the first rule. So you can actually easily reproduce this. So this is a flow rule and you put a search where the DNS request type is any of SIG. Just in case that you do not know how to recreate that rule. I'm going to show you step by step how you will do it. You click, and I'm, I'm using the standard, the old, the traditional interface. When you click here on the rules, you're going to add a flow rule. And you put here flow. You scroll down until you get this matches the search filter. When you click here, what we're looking at is for DNS request type equals to, and is seek as we saw. We add here, we click add here, we submit, and you have that condition there. Okay, going to cancel out of here to continue with the analysis of the other offense with the other rule rather and this is some an additional catch i mean typically when we see the the dns uh, traffic is around 100 150 bytes something like that so something big you can even in fact you can even lower this uh, below 60, you know, even if you put anything bigger than 10,000, it's rather unusual. But the the actual definition, the, the top is 64 kilobytes. So again, this is also a complementary rule and you see that both of them fire that will detect that the size is uh, about to generate or in this case a generated uh, a buffer overflow 
of the DNS server. Again, if you're not familiar with how to set this rule, just to make sure that you can easy, do it easily, you can actually click here where is read uh, rules. You add a flow rule. Actually, you can if you look for the word search. Yeah, you find it that filter quickly, and then you select here. The first condition is that the application application is equal. And then we on the pull down we said miscellaneous DNS. So we go to miscellaneous. Here it is. And if we expand under miscellaneous, there should be a DNS entry here. There it is. You click add, you click submit, and you get that first condition and the second condition of this rule has to see do with the size because you don't want the size to be computed unless it is a DNS uh, miscellaneous DNS traffic so and in here the search is destination to type it right Destination bytes. Here it is. Is greater or equal, greater than or equal to, and then you put here again sixty four thousand whatever. Again, anything on more than ten thousand, I think it is, it is actually uh, okay. So we click add, we click submit. And here you have the two conditions for your rule. Again, a great case for having Q&I, inspecting the network traffic and finding these abnormalities that you will not find anywhere else but inside the payload. Uh, in this proof of concept, uh, the actual DNS server is actually uh, this one. And this is the cloud instance uh, that was used to reproduce the attack of the proof of concept. Um, one final point is remember that if you don't have already q and I, well, now q and I doesn't require uh, any specific appliance. It can be even a, a virtual machine uh, and 7.4 and, and, and up. It can be a software only appliance, but you see the benefit of monitoring the full content of the payload without going into the expense of doing full packet capture.